And then the highlight of the trip arrived. It was time to meet Dr. Abdul Kalam. Dr. Kalam was a 11th president and is also a scientist. So I want to meet him and I also want to become a successful scientist like him. My question is that uh, what is the most impo- uh, inspirational uh, incident that happened to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam uh, when he was a child of my age? According to you, which is the best invention science has done to benefit mankind? TV. <laughs> I am A.P. Jagdul Kalam. Ask. 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 No, seriously ask. So, what is nuclear energy and why are people so scared of it? Next question. I am A.P. Jagdul Kalam. Ask me. Ask me. When the gates to Dr. Kalam's residence come office opened, the kids could feel butterflies in their stomach. There had never been an opportunity like this before. They could feel the nervousness and excitement building. And finally, he arrived. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Which class? Fifth. Fifth class. You? Fashang. Huh? Pashang. Pashang, which class? Sixth. You are a good fellow? Yes. Right. You are a good girl. Yes. Say yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Karthike and Vasudevan, yeah. ninth standard. Ninth. Yeah. Ninth standard. Yeah. Very good, very good. Which school? Uh, Bombay Scottish. Hi. How are you? Sir, uh, my name is Sebastian Sandrian. The children were charmed by Dr. Kalam sitting right there in front of them and chatting like an old friend. He was interested to know their thought process and decided to quiz them a little. We are the earth fellow. Mm. Uh, earth rotates your own axis. Yes. Mm. Much time. How much time it takes? What? 24, 24 hours. Very good. Very good children. Okay. Now earth fellow orbits around the sun. Okay, mm-hmm. isn't that? Yes. yes. How much time it takes? Three, six, 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 five three, and a one and a four, one four days. Ah, very good. Now I'm giving you a small problem. Okay. You told me I'm in the earth. Eh? So earth orbits around the sun. Okay. Earth orbits around the sun. Yes. yes. Myself, Kalam. I am in the seventy-ninth orbit around the sun. 79th orbit around the, what's my age? 79 years. 79 years? Yeah? Yeah. 79. 79. It's you? just going to get completed. Yeah? You are coming very close, very close. Going to be completed. Then what the age? Then 78. Ah, this girl got it. You got it. 78. My question is, what is nuclear energy? And why people are so scared of it? Well, nuclear energy uh, refers to energy from within that. When you split, it can be of two forms. One nuclear energy comes out of fission. That what we use power generation electricity, you know, fission. And another fusion. These are two types. Fission refers to the energy which comes out when atomic nucleus splits into smaller parts, okay, then energy re- released. Whereas the fusion refers to the reaction when the multiple atomic nuclei combine in a single heavy nucleus. One is connecting together, that is fusion, another is splitting. Then when you split, you get a lot of energy. That's how power generated, nuclear bomb comes, all such things, okay. We already have both civilian and strategic application of fission nuclear power. Okay? Already power, our atomic energy establishment, they generate power through fission process. And for fusion power research is on how it can be used for generating electric power, a lot of research going on. When you all grow, probably you will work in the fusion research. Okay? How to generate the power through fusion. Since the source is radioactive, the source finally is radioactive, there are concerns on safety. 
that's a question you ask, concern and safety, which have been addressed by specialists, for example, we generate power, el electricity through very efficient process, mm -hmm. but we know finally how to, how to safely uh, the fuel, spent fuel uh, can be stored without damage to the people or to the society. Can you help me to see a rocket? Well, uh, definitely. You just send a mail to me, okay? Send a mail. You know my mail? APJ at the rate of abdulkalam.com. Normally, rockets are launched from Sri Arikota. Uh, that is Satish Dhawan uh, Space Center. Sri Arikota, close to Chennai. It's in Andhra Pradesh, that uh, Sri Arikota. And there we have our space launching station is there. When they launch a rocket, I will inform you. You go there, they will show you. Okay? My question is that, uh, can Bloombox be an alternative source of energy? See, Bloombox, nothing but, I think it is a ceramic plates, a series of ceramic plates coated with some material. That is uh, probably is a patented, coated with material. Uh, it is called power plant in a box, okay? It's a power plant in a box because a bloom box, the size of an average milk cot cotton, uh, can have enough electric power to power up four average homes uh, or one average uh, American home. The blue box with the size of an average refrigerator, refrigerator has enough power to manage a hundred homes or one building. Uh, blue box, I think it was launched somewhere February 242010 this year. And what would you find inside this amazing blue box is a fuel cell where ceramic and proton membranes are organized. They put a cheap metal alloy instead of platinum. Slowly methane and oxygen are injected and the whole thing boils up to a thousand degree. You know, one height heat, heat generated, then this is actually produces electricity. But it costly. Now it is costly. It has to brought down the cost is brought down. And blue box is a fuel cell. Actually, it's a fuel cell, which may have a promising future, but it needs to bring down the cost, to very, very high cost today. Yes. It's had brought less than $3,000. Uh, in order to make bloom bow cotton neutral, it's important to use biofuel. Now they are using uh, uh, the petrol, oh. gas and all. The biofuel, then it becomes a clean, clean energy. Biofuel means what? It can be jetrofoil, it can be algae. Algae, no? This material for you should be a clean blue box.